Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video in this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 560 in Crisis Remastered. I'm running, of course, the latest AMD drivers, Adrenaline 2020 20.9.2, and uh, this one is the Sapphire Pulse edition of the card. It's also the 4GB model, as you can see right there, and I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, which are totally overkill specs for this GPU, but you should be able to achieve the same FPS here in Crisis Remastered with something like a Ryzen 3 1200. I'm gonna be playing here at 1920 by 1080 using the low, medium, high and that's probably it. Maybe can it run crisis settings as well because uh, why not? It's it's the meme, you know, let's just do it. Low settings at 1080p and it seems like it's getting pretty decent FPS. Now the textures are still bugged, they're still maxed out even on the lowest settings as you can see. If you watch my previous videos in this game, maybe like the the first four or five videos that I made in this game, uh, the textures looked way worse on low settings, but now it's it's okay, you know, it, it actually looks pretty good on low. That's all because the textures don't change at all between Can It Run Crisis settings and low. So, they're bugged, you know, but they don't really care about fixing it because this game's completely broken, so they gotta work in other fixes first, I guess. I don't even know, guys. It's, it's just, yeah, it's really bad. Sometimes you apply some settings and it doesn't really apply them. Uh, other times it stays with ray tracing enabled even on low settings, which is not the case right now, by the way. Yeah, otherwise we'd be getting way lower FPS right now. Uh, but yeah, the game does look pretty good here especially because of the bugged textures which are pretty good looking right now so if you want to play this with the RX 560 you definitely can and I would recommend these settings right here just bump up those textures and play on low settings everything it's gonna be a really nice experience in my opinion and uh, it's gonna look pretty good as you can probably tell it doesn't look bad at all even though everything is set to the lowest settings except for the textures so so let's just kill these guys over here and then we're gonna do medium, okay, there, no, come on dude, alright, I, I always miss their heads for some reason, I, I don't know why I suck so much in Crisis. it just feels a little bit clunky, maybe it's the mechanics of a 2007 game, that said it actually aged pretty well with these mechanics, can I, oh god, how do I lean right now in this game, in the first Crisis, it was easier, uh, I know that they introduced leaning into the game with a patch because it wasn't really present, uh, but uh, I, I didn't really figure it out yet, okay? So, alright, I think we've done it. Pretty good textures. Oh boy, alright. If you have the 2 gig model, by the way, your RAM utilization will be way higher because of the broken texture quality setting, because whenever you run out of VRAM, it starts utilizing system RAM as VRAM. Yeah, this is it for the low settings. Perfectly playable experience. I definitely recommend these settings with the 560 here at 1080p. And let's do medium and see if it manages to get 30 plus FPS. Okay, so I just restarted the checkpoint and we're now on the medium settings. Are the textures still the same? Yep, they still are the same. Unfortunately, we are getting a little bit higher RAM utilization, but right now, by the way, and as you can see, 1920 by 1080 medium settings across the board and uh, let's go. Okay, so we're getting 30s right here. Not too bad, you know, it's not too bad considering that the game does look pretty good on medium settings in my opinion. Uh, alright, there we go, that one is dead, and that one is dead as well. So it's still kind of playable, especially if you played the first Crisis and are used to like 15, 20 FPS maybe in Crisis, I don't know. Uh, but it is, yeah, it's definitely still playable, even if it drops into the 20 sometimes. Yeah, I wouldn't play like this, to be honest, like... Personally, it's just not my thing to play below 30 FPS, especially first-person shooters. But if you want a little bit higher visual fidelity from your game, uh, this definitely provides it. You know, medium settings does look extremely good in Crisis Remastered. And it's it's still okay, you know, we got a single stutter there. Our percent lows went down into 29, but I didn't really see it drop down from 30 yet. And uh, I am impressed by that. Okay, even looking this direction, which is usually 
usually very demanding, we're still getting 30 plus. The 560 is definitely impressing me, guys. Holy crap. I played Watch Dogs 2 earlier today with the 560, and that video probably came like uh, two uh, days ago or something like that. Uh, I was impressed with the 560 in that video as well, and now I'm impressed with the 560 in Crisis Remastered. This is still playable on medium settings. Extremely impressive results coming from this GPU. Oh, grenade there. Okay, there we go. Right, let me pick up this. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Oh, God. See that? How does that miss? I just, I don't understand that. Let me pick this up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah, I told you that 30 FPS is not really my jam, but actually maybe this went better than low settings. I don't even know, but... Wow, just I am kind of a little bit speechless because I did not expect this coming from the RX 560. 30 FPS plus pretty much like 99% of the time, I think. So, of course, in more demanding areas or more demanding scenes in this game, like by the end of the game, I think it's very, very demanding. Uh, it's probably going to drop from 30 FPS and you should probably play at low settings in those areas. But over here, at least at the beginning, uh, even in jungle areas, it's good. Okay, so now things will become rough for the little RX 560, 1920 by 1080 still, of course. High settings, I'm just gonna disable motion blur, as you can see right there, yes, ray tracing is actually enabled, whereas it was disabled on medium and low settings, so that basically is what's killing our FPS the most, but even with it disabled, we'd still be getting lower than 30 FPS, obviously, because at medium settings we were at 30, 35 mostly, so uh, yeah, this just, it becomes extremely rough here, it's not playable anymore, it's still decent for screenshots if you are into that. I'm taking a little while, oh my god, I actually died. <laughs> Now it's, it's okay compared to something like the GT710 that we took a look at in uh, the past weekend, I believe. Ugh, but this is just horrible. With the 710, we actually hit 0 FPS at the Can It Run Crisis preset with the 1080p resolution. So, um, yeah, multiple times, might I add. It was beautiful, guys. You definitely should check that out. Very, very fun video, I think. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I died again. <laughs> oh, my. Um, why not test the maxed out settings? You know, Can It Run Crisis? Let's go. Okay, so uh, we lost like 7 FPS around that, 6 to 7 FPS, not too bad, okay, yeah, I, I could definitely uh, walk around like this and die multiple times, if, if you're into that, it's okay, I'm just gonna disable motion blur, of course, can it run crisis preset, 1080p, come on, uh, SMAA 1TX anti-aliasing, which doesn't really kill your FPS, by the way, let's just start counting it, oh uh, my, can I actually kill somebody? Please, I, I didn't manage to do it in the 710 video, it was a horrible experience, I've never experienced something like that by the way, so that's why I'm not really complaining too much about these FPS that we're getting. Yeah, th these are pretty good, okay? <laughs> they're not, they're not, they're horrible still. Okay, let me just kill this guy over here. Thank you very much. Very easy to do, see that guys? I managed to do it in less than 10 seconds or so. So that is extremely good. I spent like 15 minutes trying to kill somebody or maybe 20 minutes in the GT710 video. Of course, I cut a lot of it because it's just a steel frame for like 10 or more seconds. Uh, zero FPS, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is okay. This is... is, is <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna do this. I did it. I did it. See that, guys? It's definitely very playable. Not. It's it's not good. This is uh, extremely horrible. So, guys, I, I guess I will leave it like this. We got 8 FPS right there on average. It went up by a little bit. Extremely good news, you know? <laughs> if I look at the sky, we can hit 20-something FPS, which is really, really nice. Just go take a break right now. Uh, clear your eyes. Maybe take a shower or something. I don't know, guys. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.